What's going on guys, Joe Munoz, OneStepPrep.com. In this little quick video clip, all right, I wanna to talk to you about slats versus flaps and on the 737, something that we typically refer to as leading edge flap droop. It's the very reason we need to uh, verify with ground personnel that we're clear, quote unquote, the area is clear to pressurize a hydraulic system. And as we know on the 737, okay, we have both slats and flaps. Now, inboard of the engine over here, we have our leading edge flaps, and outboard of the engine, we have our leading edge slats. What's the difference and why, when we talk about the leading edge flap droop, are we pr primarily talking about the flap droop being inboard of the engine? Could be outboard, but it's usually inboard. Let's talk about it. So you need to first understand an airfoil, and the airfoil has a slat on the front, and by airfoil, I mean basically the wing, right? The slat primarily extends out or forward with the uh, thought, right, or the idea, the logic being to increase the overall wing camber or the wing size. That means the actual surface area from front to back of the wing, right? Now the leading edge flap typically extends down and its job is not necessarily to increase wing size or camber, but really what it is is to force relative airflow over the top of the wing, which would make sense given the fact that the leading edge flap happens to be closer to the wing root. So ultimately what we're getting at is the flaps typically extend down the leading edge flaps, the tracks extend forward and down, whereas the slats tend to extend a little bit down, but actually more focused in the forward direction. So gravity, right, would be uh, working to have our leading edge flaps droop given the fact that they're extending downward, gravity would really be the one to take hold and extend them in the downward direction if they're not actually pressurized. Remember, we have a hydraulic system, right? We have system A, we have system B, and we have the standby, all of which are providing 3,000 pounds per square inch, 3,000 psi worth of pressure. If we don't have this because we've removed all of our hydraulic pressure, it is possible while the aircraft is sitting overnight that we start to see a little bit of a leading edge, uh, particularly in the flap area as we now learn droop. And we want to clear the area with our uh, exterior personnel prior to pressurizing our hydraulic system, specifically the B system, right? Uh, so that we ensure that when we do pressurize, we don't have any flap motion outside as a result of the flaps or leading edge slats even having droop. All right, hope that makes sense. We got a ton more content. Go to OneStepPrep.com if you're training 737 Classic, 737 NG, A320, or CRJ. Many new things. We just uploaded uh, 15 new 320 briefing videos. We have about 22 similar briefing videos like this where I'm standing in front of a whiteboard talking to you about all things V1 cut, single engine operation, single engine ILS, manual reversion, hot start. Wow, too much to go through and I'm running out of breath. OneStepPrep.com. Go check it out. Can't wait to see you there.